All right, you may have heard a lot of hype about ZBrush for iPad, and I wanna talk about how much it costs and how to get it, and if it's worth it, they also have a free version and compare that to the paid version, what the heck is going on here, okay? So I can see here, and I'm gonna put a link below, but you can see here ZBrush for iPad for free, Here's ZBrush for iPad, the paid version, and then they have ZBrush for the desktop version, okay? So let me just kind of back up here and go to the pricing plan, and again, I'll put the link below for this. Uh, this is at Maxon, this is the uh, owners of ZBrush, and if I look at the normal pricing structure, I can see that ZBrush is $33 a month, okay? What that is, is ZBrush for the desktop computer. Now what's cool is that if you get ZBrush for the desktop computer, you automatically have access to ZBrush for iPad for free, okay? Now, uh, if you pay, so that, that would be if you um, did a $400 annual payment, and if you broke it down monthly, you can see it's a little bit higher at $49 a month for just ZBrush, okay? If you do annual, you have to pay one time, but that uh, breaks it down to $33 um, a month. Now, if you're a student, you can go to the education, and if you come down here, you can see that they have a student. And if you look at that, what they, basically what it is, is you get all of this stuff for $60 a year, okay? So you buy it once and then you have access to all of that, including ZBrush for iPad and ZBrush for desktop. Now, that is assuming you want the desktop version, you're gonna be using the desktop version. And if you buy the desktop version, the iPad comes along for free. If you just want the iPad version at the App Store, okay, um, you can download this for free, but it has limited features, and I'm gonna talk about that in a second. Um, or you can buy it for a kind of two different things. Uh, you can pay monthly for 10 bucks a month, or once one time for $89 or $90 for the whole year, okay? so. Uh, and that makes it even a little bit more than, or a little bit less than $10 a month. So a um, couple different options, but let's kind of break it down and see what the difference between the free and the paid version of the iPad is. Okay, so I feel like, again, um, maybe you're doing 10 bucks a month here or $89 a year, or if you bought ZBrush for desktop, this comes along for free. So that's a cool deal if you need ZBrush for desktop, and I, um, so that's a great deal. But let's say if you're just comparing these two. Well, if I go down here to see all the feature comparisons, I can see here um, what the free plan has and what the subscription plan has versus the desktop version, okay? And if I, if I come down here, I can see right away on sculpting, uh, the subscription plan sports up to 90 million polys, where uh, the free pr only does 20 million. Now I should mention that this is on the M4 iPad and why it says one terabyte plus is not because it needs that much space, but on those higher iPads with the um, storage, it actually has double the amount of RAM. I think a lot of people don't realize that. Um, so I feel like that does help with it. Um, having as much RAM as possible can help on the iPads. So if you were looking for an excuse to kind of uh, get a super high-end iPad, this is definitely the reason to get it, okay? And you can see, again, if I go through here, you can see different things like, ah, this one doesn't really have live Booleans. If you don't really care about that, it's not a big deal. But um, again, you can see the whole list. I'm not gonna go through everything. You can kind of look through this yourself. But one thing I do wanna point out is down here on the import export, okay? On the free plan, I cannot export out, okay? On the paid version, I can, and I feel like that's a big deal, okay? I can import here, but I can't export on the free one, okay? So those are pretty much the, the main things. Yeah, again, you can kind of go through this and kind of see what it's worth it for your needs. Maybe if you just want to practice, um, the free one would be a great option to kind of try it out. Um, but if you really want to kind of dive in, or if you have the desktop version, you might as well get the iPad version for free. So again, let me know what you think about this. Uh, like and subscribe and leave some comments below.